Hello, I'm Vincenza Perella, and I'm here with the NEH Institute Native Americans of New England a Historical Overview. And would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Kathleen Brown Perez, and I am a professor in the Honors College here at UMass Amherst. Um, one of our questions was, how do you believe Native American history is relevant to the present day? Well, in my work in law, looking a lot at the federal acknowledgement process, which is the tribes that want the government-to-government -government relationship with the federal government, if it weren't for some knowledge of the history, we would um, you know, really not be able to do our job. We have to have a very, very you know, detailed knowledge of history. So um, when I think of you know, the, the federal acknowledgement process is a contemporary issue that many tribes deal with, 300, you know, about 300 tribes are dealing with it right now. Um, it's really a contemporary issue that exists because of various things that have happened in history. So if we ignore the things that happened historically, people can't possibly understand what is happening uh, today with, with tribes because we, um, we really are kind of carrying that burden of the past with us. And so it would help a lot if the average American knew more about what was happening with us historically. It would help a lot. And do you have a favorite book or author you'd like to recommend to us? Absolutely. Walter Echo Hawk, um, uh, The uh, Ten Worst Indian Law Cases Ever. I think actually it's called In the Courts of the Conqueror, Ten Worst Indian Law Cases Ever. And uh, he picked 10 cases that um, had sort of a shocking um, result uh, in the end, all Supreme Court cases. Uh, one of them is Johnson versus McIntosh, which is a kind of infamous case. Um, and he provides a great deal of detail about each of these cases. Um, the Supreme Court cases, again, kind of looking back at history, the Supreme Court cases are very important um, to understanding the current position of Indians and tribes in the United States because long ago, uh, actually it was a Supreme Court case that determined that Congress has plenary or complete power over Indians and tribes, and um, so these Supreme Court cases really do uh, provide a foundation for understanding where we where and how we exist within the U.S. legal system. So it's a, it's a very, very good book. It's interesting, very well written by Sandra. Sounds really interesting. Yeah. I don't think I've heard of anything yeah, like that before. Yeah. Anything written by anyone with the last name of Echo Hawk, <laughs> uh, it's a big family of lawyers, um, is pretty amazing. Well, thank you for coming and speaking with us. Thank you for inviting me. I really, really enjoyed it.